Hi everybody, friends, blessings from St. Clement. It is a beautiful fall day, a day that the Lord invites us one more time to reflect on His presence and faithfulness in our own lives. And the Word of God that we hear today, it's not only encouraging, it is also affirming us in our mission of inviting all people to experience the fullness of life in Jesus Christ, right? The, the scripture that we hear today, which is a continuation of the ninth chapter of Mark, we see the disciples coming to Jesus, complaining again, like last week. This time they don't complain about each other, they complain about others. They say to Jesus, other people who don't go with us do great things in your name, and we think they're bad people. And Jesus says, listen, if anybody does good things in my name, they belong to me. They might not belong to you yet, they might not be part of your community, but they're part of my community. They have my power. They cannot do great things without my power. What Jesus basically says to all of us is, listen, some of us are Catholics, others of us are Orthodox, other of us are in part of the Protestant churches, and Jesus dwells in all those places, and in all those places calls people to holiness of life and to uh, faithfulness to the Scripture. Within our own Catholic tradition, we are enriched by sacraments. We believe that those are most beautiful ways to encounter Jesus, not only in the Eucharist, which is the center and the summit of our own spiritual lives, but in other sacraments in which Jesus is present to us and His ministry can be felt by our receiving of those sacraments. Here at St. Clement, we are proud to celebrate a lot of sacraments every single year, from about 60 weddings to over 200 baptisms and um, confirmations and first communions and uh, so many important moments in which we see God entering into relationship with us and truly blessing us out, out of abundance of His own heart. And then once we are blessed by God, once we receive the sacraments, we are sent out on the mission to share that blessing with others, right? And so my invitation to you as a community is that you ask yourself, who recently did you invite to St. Clement to be part of that community and whom you should invite? I know this is hard and I know people are um, much more willing to invite somebody for a dinner out to eat than to their parish church for um, an alpha course or a discussion about scripture or even a social event. But I challenge you to consider it. Why? Because that's what Jesus asked us to do. And it's important actually to do what Jesus asked us to do, which is to be His witnesses in the world. And we do it by simply saying, listen, we have a great community here, a community that we strive to serve one another and be connected with one another. And we don't want you to be lonely. We don't want you to be alone. We want you to feel like you're supported and part of the community that is life-giving, in which everyone has an opportunity to step up and use your own God's given gifts and talents. We welcome everybody here. Whether people are straight or gay, whether they uh, are young or older, whether they are married or single, divorced, you name it. We believe that everyone is called and invited to be part of the celebration in which we recognize the true presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. I invite you, friends, to join us here at St. Clement to consider making us your church. And if you have been gone for a while, to consider visiting us in person or joining our online liturgies. We love to pray with you. But even more so, we love to see how God makes a difference in our lives when we come together as a community. God bless you all.